Hi there, I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET.com and sitting next to me is the Sony KVL55 XBR8. This is an extremely expensive uh, LCD flat panel TV, 55 inches in size. That size isn't the main reason it's so expensive, however. It's due to Sony's LED technology. This TV is Sony's first attempt at having an LED backlight. That means instead of the standard fluorescent backlights behind the screen providing the power, there's LEDs. In Sony's case, there's four different colored LEDs, a technology it calls triluminous. And we'll get to the effects of all that technology in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at this TV styling. The uh, speakers seem to kind of hang in space to either side of the TV here with these glass panels separating them. Uh, the TV itself around back has plenty of inputs. You'll find uh, three HDMI inputs two component video inputs and a PC input. Uh, the side panel also has a fourth HDMI input, so there is plenty of connectivity on this set. When you go into the menu, you also find plenty of things to do to adjust the picture. Sony allows you to adjust the white balance, gamma, and a host of other uh, picture features, so you can really go ahead and tweak this TV to your heart's content. The set also features Sony's motion flow technology. There's actually a new feature available on this TV called Clear, which takes advantage of the LEDs to uh, provide a little bit better uh, in terms of motion resolution. All things considered, this is one of the best performing TVs we've tested this year. It has excellent black levels. Those LEDs can actually turn off and selectively dim in different areas of the screen, which creates nice deep blacks. It also has a very good color rendition. Um, if you go and to test the color points, they're right on, and also the Grayscale on this TV is excellent. So all things considered, the picture is extremely good. The video processing is another strength. On the flip side, it doesn't have the best off-angle viewing characteristics. When you're one or two spaces on the couch to either side of the TV, its image does fade a little bit. We also notice some blooming, um, which is where bright areas appear a little bit brighter uh, than they should. But again, that effect is really not that big of a deal. And all things considered, it's one of the best performing TVs we've tested this year. That's a quick look at the Sony KBL 55 XBR8. And I'm David Katzmeyer.